G'day folks. Basically the cleanest, easiest way to open up a small compressor is to take a ultra thin cutoff wheel, a good quality grinder, very sturdy mount. So obviously if the wheel starts chattering or the compressor starts bouncing around, the chatter is going to eat your wheel and just cause all kinds of havoc. And the technique's basically just to run it around just below the weld line. You don't cut all the way through though, or you'll contaminate the insides with particles of abrasive and metal. But if you cut roughly to the thickness of the welded metal on the outside, you can prise the top off afterwards. But of course I've used, already used compressed air to blow the dust out of that hole and minimise any ingress into the housing. Obviously I left a little bit of a tag on somewhere. thicknesses and there's no contamination inside this housing. They're nice and clean and ready to run. I've left the oil in there as well and I'll demonstrate just how this one works along with another test that one of my friends wants possibly how to run one of these as a high start port compressor. Uh, these will not start up under load of back pressure, like if you've got 100 pounds in your discharge line, this motor will not have enough power to start that piston up again. So we've got to look at that, plus a few other little things. And that's basically it. Basically these compressor pumps are based just on the same principle as any reciprocating air compressor except that these ones are constantly flushed and immersed or almost immersed in oil but also act to cool the windings as well as it runs back down. I have a piston, a connecting rod, a crankshaft or a sort of eccentric lobe on the motor shaft they have two discharge chambers that accumulate pressure and no oh sorry it's got one discharge chamber that's the suction side here that's your inlet through there this is your high pressure discharge there's only one of them and this is obviously the cylinder head inside that are a set of reed valves one for inlet one for outlet and they check the flow as it comes through bottom end. There's obviously no motor bearing or anything down here. The motor's reliant on one single centre bearing. This little tube here is your oil pump. Oil floats up inside there and as the motor's running, centrifugal force and a little spiral baffle inside drive the oil up inside the motor spindle and out through the top through the motor bearing and the crankshaft bearing. You can see a couple of little holes here for the spraying. little glass bulb here is a thermal switch. If these windings overheat because the motor's stalled or seized or tried to start up on short cycle, that switch will kick in and cut the power to it, prevent burning it out. It's one of, one of the little preventative safety devices they install on these compressors. There's not a lot of scrap in these. Unfortunately, uh, I've just been informed by my scrap manager that whole units like this are no longer considered electric motor scrap. So either I have to strip the stator off the pump and basically just cut my losses and get maybe 30 cents a kilo for it, which is bugger all, or I'll take the better option and cut this copper winding out and bring the copper in at about $2.80 or $3 a kilo, which is much better. There's about half a kilo of copper here one pound. 
It's a shame to scrap these devices, but since they've been deemed unusable or unsaleable by the manufacturer, there's no other option. They cannot be sold to anyone for any real reason. I mean, I'm putting my neck on the line by using them for hobby devices, but basically they'll end up in the scrap anyway. I'm sure a big multinational company won't care about a couple of their old stock compressors being used for hobby stuff. And unfortunately, they have to be destroyed. This one's the same. I've got my low start torque starting device hooked up. I'll hook some. This is a test run of a low start torque domestic refrigeration compressor to demonstrate the lubrication system. going everywhere. Very effective. Okay, I'm going to switch this off. <laughs> that is just everywhere. This is a test of a low start torque compressor with a high starting torque relay and 60 microfarad start capacitor. This may or may not work, I haven't done it yet, but let's give it a shot. Hey, it does work. Doesn't seem to be doing anything bad. Okay. I guess you can use these as high start torque compressors. A bit of food for thought. <laughs> 